think of a, a better topic for all of us to be focusing on today. I had a brief conversation before we kicked this off, and there is no question that climate change is the issue of the day, and there's no question that, that is driving all of us in our daily lives as well as our professional lives. So I think today's conference is going to be one that's going to be uh, an opportunity to build partnerships, build friendships, build collaborations, and to be looking for synergies for all of the northeastern states to continue working together. Yesterday, I had the privilege of participating in the Joint Committees meeting, uh, a group of about 30 leaders and uh, people who are part of FEMC, but also leaders in their own states. And I could not help but feel both pride and hope in sitting there in that meeting, listening to the updates of all the state's actions in partnership with the FEMC. Uh, I was proud of the dedication that I saw and the talent and the energy of how we're going to work together as a team, which is really what embodies the mission of the FEMC. And I was hopeful for the same reasons, because it's going to take our joint effort, every ounce of energy we have to be addressing these grand challenges we have uh, with our climate and impacts on the forest, impacts on people, impacts on all the other natural resources. Everybody in that meeting was eager to share, eager to collaborate, and again, uh, looking for ways to partner and build synergies. So as I said a minute ago, this group alone yesterday embodied the mission of the FEMC, which is really a, a way to bring partners together to amplify the impact of what we do, to build databases that we can all continue to contribute to, and for all of us to work together in monitoring change as it's actually happening real time. I was also struck by the amazing accomplishments of the FEMC staff themselves. And for those of you who have been coming to this conference for uh, a long time now, you've seen rapid changes in FEMC from a name change to the size of the team to the amount of work that they accomplish every year. And they, they went through 15 different projects that they're working on now. Again, a huge growth in the breadth of what they're doing. From data rescue to forest health, Dendro Ecological Network, timber clearing inventory, carbon accounting, and now bringing in the impacts of recreational activities, particularly in the Adirondacks on invasive species. And it's because of all of you that this is happening, that you are bringing in relevant ideas, relevant projects, and the strength of the FEMC staff to make this integrated and a resource that we can then turn back to all of you to continue moving forward. So I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Jim Duncan and Jen Pomius for their amazing leadership with their entire team. And I just wanted to uh, give them a, a round of applause because this has been a rapid change and a big accomplishment. So uh, with those brief remarks, I also want to thank uh, Maria Janowiak uh, from the North Northern Institute of Applied Climate Science, Bob Zaino, Vermont Fish and Wildlife, Emily Meacham, Vermont Forest Parks and Recreation, and the FEMC staff for organizing what's going to be a fabulous meeting today and providing these opportunities for all of us to get together and to build those partnerships. Again, thank you to Jim for all of the logistics and his team. Uh, it's been wonderful seeing this come together. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, lean into this. Uh, be in the moment, meet new people, get new ideas, go back, think about them, and keep moving forward. Thank you for all you do to uh, build the energy and the collective body of wisdom and effort to begin tackling this major challenge of our times. So have fun today. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nancy, and thank you for uh, hosting this conference here at UVM. We're really lucky to have this space, and it's great to look out and see all of you folks here uh, again or for the first time. I'm really excited to be up here in front of you on this topic of climate change and how it connects to monitoring. Uh, I want to just say a quick word about the FEMC in the past year. This has continued a trend of growth. There's more engagement in our project work and in the cooperative and our committees. There's more data archived, but also more data being 
being used, both downloaded, integrated into research, and also pulled into tools and products that you all uh, use and need to help do monitoring, management, and advocacy for our forests. And we've also continued to lean into our project work, uh, developing tools around regeneration, how invasive species are going to impact urban areas, and how to make that information on potential economic exposure usable and interesting for folks who need to have it rescuing data, uh, not just scanning tens of thousands of pages of documents and pulling data off of disks that couldn't be read anymore, but also knowing what we have and what our potential exposure is and what we might need to rescue in the future. And we continue our state-specific projects working with our partners to pilot things such as indicators, dashboards, forest health monitoring expansions, or forest clearing inventories that can serve as pilots or examples for other states to consider or potentially expand regionally. Um, these are all services that are being provided to the cooperative, and uh, these services are really delivered by our staff and our partners. They work together to make this stuff happen. I look at budgets, and they do the work. And I want to just say, if there's FEMC staff and affiliates in the room, could you just stand up real quick? Back there, there, thank you. And you gotta clap loud so they can hear you at the reg desk. And all these services are driven by our committees. Nancy mentioned the work of our uh, state partnership and steering committees. Great session yesterday that really kicks off a round of work over the next four months. These are the folks that you might want to talk to if uh, you have an idea for the FEMC. Uh, can I ask any committee members that are in the room just to stand up so people can hunt you down later? Thank you so much for your work to the cooperative. And then I know you're clapping a lot, but really it's all of you cooperators here in the room and who you go back and talk to after this that will help uh, make this work uh, go further and matter to the cooperative and the states that we serve. Um, so, and I also want to acknowledge that we are expanding a little bit this year. We're lucky to have uh, great participation from, from Rhode Island in our committees and Connecticut is engaging as well. So we can start to look at uh, filling in that little hole that we've been having for a while. And uh, finally, uh, funding and support is always important. Uh, definitely want to acknowledge the support that we've been receiving from Senator Patrick Leahy uh, for years now and the continued uh, support and engagement in this program and his all his work he's doing from monitoring and research on the environment is so critical right now. Uh, thank you, Senator Leahy. And of course, this comes with partners who are also investing directly both in the cooperative and in supporting individual monitoring projects so that we don't have to start from zero on answering how things are changing. Now, last but not least, I think there are two people in the room who are retiring and long-term cooperators for the FEMC. And you're not here right now, and neither are they, but they will be soon. Uh, Barbara Schultz from Forest Parks and uh, Recreation here in Vermont and Don Ross from UVM Plant Soil Sciences will be retiring before we get to have this meeting again. I'm sure they'll come back, but they set the stage for a number of monitoring projects in our state, from looking at holes being chewed in leaves by insects, to digging holes in the ground to examine the soils and how that intersects with forest ecosystems. Um, Don, uh, Barbara, are you in the room? I saw Don. He can't hide. All right, he's hiding. But if you see them today, please say thank you, and please congratulate them on uh, almost being to their retirement stage. With that, uh, I'd like to turn it over to Commissioner Mike Snyder to MC our conference. Uh, Commissioner Snyder is a the commissioner for the Vermont Department of Forest Parks and Recreation, and he's a graduate, both undergrad and graduate school of University of Vermont, and he's served as commissioner for nine years after 14 years as a Chittenden County State, uh, sorry, Chittenden County Forester. He's also taught at UVM for 12 years and he continues to write the Woodwise column for the Northern Woodlands Magazine. Somehow we convinced him to find some time to spend with us and moderate our plenary session, so please help me welcome Commissioner Snyder.